Hey everyone, it's Mike here again from adventuresincre.com. Uh, today we're going to go over the real estate development tracker that's been uploaded to our website. And so as usual, if you haven't done so already, please head over there now. You can download the model and then come back and follow along. So in this video, we're going to do a high-level overview. I'm going to show you everything that's included in the model. And then I'm going to walk you through how to use the model. And we're going to do just a very basic sort of path uh, to entitlements that will, will show you all the functionalities that are included as well. All right, so let's dive in. So everything in front of us is the input section. So you have everything in blue here. Uh, plus you have at the top the ability to put in um, who's developing the project. Um, you also have the ability, well not the ability, you have the necessity to input a, a project start date. And then you also have the ability here to uh, put a name to the project. To the left, we have our insert row columns. So as you can see, you know, as you learn the process, maybe you're learning the entitlements process or how this project's going to be developed, uh, you'll start to learn about new pieces to the puzzle. And so you have the ability to just add things in between other things. And to the right of the inputs field, uh, we have the tracker field, which gives you the visual. Um, as you update your inputs, this will highlight uh, in color. And we'll get into the details of the different colors and the, and the M and the, the diagonal striping. And then the last piece uh, to the far right, which you can get to by clicking on this button down here, the Go to Delete Rows button, is the box where you can delete rows. Um, so I created this section to be all the way down here because my original thought was to just have both the insert row and the delete row buttons next to each other. However, um, because these are macros, once you click a button, you can't undo it. And so if you were going to insert a row and then you inadvertently deleted the row by accident because the buttons were so close together, uh, it wouldn't be a good thing. So I made an extra step that would uh, enforce the user to have to go and make sure that they want to actually delete a row rather than just accidentally pushing a button. Um, so while we're here, we can delete the rows that we previously inserted. And then you can hit the return button up top and it comes back to the input section. All right, so that's the entire overview of the model. So now I'd like to um, walk you through a hypothetical high level um, entitlements process and it, this this uh, example is going to show you all the functionality of the model so if you want with the model you just downloaded just highlight the cells and you can delete it and then we can go through the process together and actually real quick uh, before we dive into the example there is an additional sheet here um, which is the sheet you want to use for printing so this is a feature I put in that will automatically update as you update the previous sheet and it's already ready to go for you to print. Um, so if you want to show this internally or you want to show this uh, to a potential investor, it's, it's already uh, ready to go for you. All right, so let's get into discovering the entitlements process for um, our project here, the Divided Sky Hotel. So we have our first test. We're going to put, let's, let's close on the land. So let's type in close on land. Um, and in the second column, it's going to ask if this is a milestone or not. Let's hold off on this because uh, let's fill in the rest first, and then we'll go back. So I want to show you the functionality with this, and it'll, it'll help if we do it this way first. So in column E, it gives you the option to um, answer whether this task is dependent upon another task. And here, obviously, this is the first input, so this will be dependent on nothing. And so when you do that, uh, column F will open up, and it'll ask you, what's the independent start month? And as you see, we have um, all of our months numbered here, 1 through 60. And so the question is, is what month does this start? And so for this, we're going to start in month 1. And it's going to give us a duration, so this is going to last... Um, one month. Uh, really, this is a milestone, but in terms of duration, whenever you have a milestone, you just want to input one for duration. And as you can see, uh, cell 011 uh, turned green. 
So now let's go back real quick and answer the question if this is a milestone or not. And the answer is yes. And so when we click yes, you'll notice that cell 011 uh, got these diagonal stripes and there was a white M that was inserted. And this is to indicate that this is indeed uh, a milestone. All right, so we close on the LAN and let's assume we have our architect ready to go. And so we launch into schematic design. So is schematic design a milestone? No, it is not. Is it dependent upon another task? The answer is yes, it's dependent upon closing the LAN. Um, and if you have a task that's dependent on an, dependent upon another task, you then go to column G. And the question here is, if, the, if this is dependent, it starts plus or minus X months from the finish of whatever the um, task is that your current task is dependent upon. So we have close on the land, and we're going to say that this starts one month after. And we're going to say the duration of schematic design is six months. So what you'll notice in the tracker field is that we have the next six months highlighted and it's in red. So what this indicates um, is that anything, any task is dependent upon another task will show up in red. And if you have a task that's independent, it will show up in green. So that's, that's the color indications for each, uh, each different task that you saw previously. All right. So after schematic design we have design development is this a milestone the answer is no is this dependent upon another task the answer is yes it's dependent upon schematic design and we'll say it launches exactly one month after um, and we'll say that this duration is six months as well so let's check the tracker field make sure everything's in order and we can see that it is Okay, so as we're researching the entitlements process, uh, we learned that the planning department um, needs to see a design package and we need to get it in as soon as possible. And looking through the information, we realized that we only need to be at 50% schematic design. So we realize now that schematic design is a bit too broad of a term and we're going to need to first uh, break it down into two separate components. And we also know that before design development, we're going to need to add a step. So let's insert a row first, and now let's change schematic design to 50% schematic design. Let's uh, also change the duration to three months. And let's add a new milestone, which is submit design package to planning. And as we said, this is a milestone, so you're going to hit yes. And this is dependent upon 50% schematic design. And for this one, we're going to submit it at the same time that 50% schematic design finishes. So let's put zero for uh, when this starts and we're going to put one for duration and let's check so we have a milestone it's red because it's dependent upon 50 percent schematic design and it happens at the same time 50 percent schematic design ends so you'll notice real quick in the design development row that these two cells turn red we'll address that in a minute but first let's let's complete our new path so um, we can't have design development start until schematic design uh, is finished. So we now have to insert an additional row and let's put 100% schematic design. And is this a milestone? No. It is dependent upon 50% schematic design. It starts one month to keep it continuous and let's say it's another three months check real quick we have our 50% mark and we have our 100% mark and so why uh, design development is these cells have turned red here is because as you update your uh, task and tasks and things change 
um, your dependent upon column m may no longer have uh, what is input here. So for example, to clarify, in cell E15, it's dependent upon schematic design, but schematic design no longer exists in column C. So these red cells down here will indicate that that is an issue and that you need to fix that. So design development is dependent upon the completion of 100% schematic design. So we need to go in here and update that to 100% schematic design. And as you can see, um, these cells have now uh, turned back to white and we have our design development uh, six months, the, the, the six months that follow the uh, completion of schematic design. Okay, so we're getting further into our research for the entitlements process and we now learn that before we can submit this design package, uh, we actually have to have two preliminary meetings with planning. And we also learned that the first time we can, the, the earliest we can get this meeting is in February. So let's insert two rows and let's put meeting number one and meeting number two. All right, so is meeting number one a milestone? Uh, let's say no. Is it dependent upon anything? Really, it's it's set in February, so let's say that it's uh, it's independent, so it's dependent upon nothing. And so let's check what month uh, February is. We see it's number four, so our independent start month four, and the duration is one. So we now have uh, our first meeting plugged in. We also learned that the the second meeting is one month uh, after and so meeting number two is dependent upon meeting number one and it's held one month after and duration equals one so let's check we have meeting number two now set after meeting number one so now we have to change the submission of our design package um, to not be dependent upon 50 percent schematic design but to be dependent upon the conclusion of meeting number two and we learned that we can submit this immediately after pretty much the next day. And so this will come in the same month. So we input a zero here, which was already here previously. And due to this being a milestone, which we had already talked about, we make the duration one. And now this lines up accordingly with meeting number two. So now we realize upon further research that actually the information we had was outdated and that now planning only requires us to have one meeting before submission. So we need to delete meeting two because it no longer exists. So let's click on the button that says go to delete rows and let's find meeting two and click delete row and then click return and it'll bring us back to our inputs. And as we discussed previously, um, we see that submit design package to planning is dependent upon meeting two. Well, meeting two no longer exists and you have that extra warning here, which is these cells that have turned red. So now we know that this um, design package submission is now only dependent upon meeting number one. So let's change that to meeting number one. And we now see that we can submit immediately after uh, the meeting. And it's aligned up with number one. And mainly due to the time constraints of uh, YouTube videos, Let's uh, shorten this process tremendously. And let's say that after you submit the design package, there is a five-month review period that planning does. And then after that, they have a planning meeting, which is public. And it's where you find out if your project receives approval. So this is a milestone. Yes, it is dependent upon the submission of the design package. And we said, I think we said five months. And because it's a milestone, it has a duration of one. And so after our submission of the design package, we have one, two, three, four, five months is when we have the meeting and we find out if our project is approved. And so that's basically it. That's the whole, um, that's all the functionality in this model. And I hope that you found this useful. And um, yeah. I will talk with you guys next time when I upload the next video. Thanks for listening and watching.